11, 1982, 30-year-old platoon sergeant Manny Manfred was moving stealthily into position on Mount Longdon. Then one of the British assaulters stepped on a mine and blew his foot off, and the silent night attack suddenly became very noisy. The Argentine defenders rained mortar shells down on their position while the tracer bullets of their machine guns lit up the night. Novak, one of the first hit in the initial flurry of fire, was killed. For the next two hours the men were pinned down, unable to move due to the sheer weight of enemy fire coming down the mountain towards them. And the men of a company were ordered to move up through their position and continue the assault. They were skirmishing, hand-to-hand -hand fighting in some instances with bayonets fixed, about eight and a half hours into the battle. Nearing the top of the mountain, the Argentines broke ranks and, as dawn rose, started to run, not towards them, but away from them. Manfred remembers seeing about 40 Argentinian troops streaming down the other side of the mountain in the direction of Port Stanley. We engaged them with rifle fire and machine guns, he says. They weren't surrendering.